Alpha Munitions has been in the brass manufacturing business for a couple of years and they started the company with one goal in mind and that was to provide uh, the highest quality, most consistent brass on the planet, a uh, concept they call Alpha Grade and the march towards that goal has never stopped and has never changed. Uh, the latest step along the way is what they're calling optimized case design um, and what we're going to talk about right now briefly, specifically, is optimized case head technology. So Alpha Munitions learned a a long time ago that these brass cups are vitally important. Now every piece of brass that starts out starts out as a cup and then there's a number of manuf manufacturing processes where punches come down and form it and shape it into a cartridge case. And now if you don't start with perfection you can't end with perfection. So they've been all over the world and they found very very few manufacturers who can make these brass cups to the specifications they require. One of the recent changes they've made as part of this optimized case head technology is they've changed the grain structure of the brass. So that was a key part of the equation. Uh, the next part of the equation is they changed the manuf manufacturing process. So normally with, with uh, case heads you think, well, harder is better. Well, if it's too hard, it's brittle. If it's not hard enough, it's soft, and the primer pockets the form and you got a mess. So there's a window on hardness that you're trying to hit, but you can't make it too rigid. So between changing the grain structure changing the manufacturing process, they've made a very rigid uh, case head. And so the end result is this is now the ultimate in primer pocket life and pressure containment. Many of you probably know Brian Allen. He's a PRS shooter. And he's been out there for a number of years. He's a great guy. He's a fantastic shooter. Uh, he shoots a six dasher with a 109 bullet. Uh, his match loads 32.8 grains of powder. So he took uh, one of these new pieces of brass with the optimized case head technology in it. 32.8 worked his way all the way up to 34.5. So he started with a pretty warm load and then went to a slightly compressed load that was that was wicked hot. Uh, did that across 10 loadings and then said, all right, let me back it down to my warmish 32.8 match load. Loaded it and on the 21st loading he said, all right, I could feel a difference in how that primer pocket seat or how that primer seated in the pocket. So huge pressure and then warm pressure didn't feel a change in the primer pocket until 21 loading so excellent excellent primer pocket life with this new technology um, many of you might know Brandon Hembry Brandon uh, shoots a six dasher uh, 109 started uh, his load development at 32.2 went all the way up to 33.8 and put every round through the same hole um, and saw absolutely zero pressure signs along the way uh, of course then he kept loading it up he got to 34 and some change and common sense said you need to stop um, but Brandon's big takeaway is now no matter the environmental conditions if you're shooting in the rain um, you don't have to worry about locking your gun up uh, because of oddball pressure things that can happen uh, when the weather conditions change uh, a good friend of mine, Jim Cobber, is the Chief Strategy Officer for Alpha Munitions. And, uh, you know, his load development now, Alpha Munitions, the reason they, they did all of these tests is to see how far they could push this new product. Under no conditions should you ever deviate from max loads in the, in the reloading manual. Um, so under very tightly controlled conditions, Alpha Munitions, they took a 22 uh, GT with a 78 grain TSX and loaded it over uh, 40.1 grains of 4350 and, uh, and kicked that bullet out the muzzle at, at 35.58 feet per second um, with, you know, you, they went back and checked on quick load and they were just a hair over 81,000 PSI, which is absolutely ridiculous and something that you should never try to do at home. Once again, there are a lot of safety measures in place. Um, Jim's big takeaway is you have to adhere to the loading manuals with this new brass because if you go by the classic pressure signs, um, you can't do that and remain within safe tolerances. Your, the first sign of pressure is going to be the bolt flying out the back of the receiver or the gun blowing up. So you have to be extremely careful. You know, the temptation's always there, right? Everybody likes to speed, like speed, man. I mean, I want to go fast, um, but never deviate from max load in the, uh, in the loading manual. So uh, I'd like to thank Alpha Munitions for sponsoring this video. If you don't know much about Alpha Munitions, you can check them out on the Facebooks and on the Instagrams. And, uh, and you can also go to the website at uh, www.alphamunitions.com.